Ta-da! It's gone. What? But where'd the bunny go? Oh, sadly. He's turned into this burger. What? I'm just kidding. He's right here! Aww. Aww. Magical Marvin is the best magician ever. <laughs> Thanks for getting him for my birthday, Mom. You're welcome. Glad you enjoyed it. Well, boys and girls, Magical Marvin takes great pride in being the number one rated party entertainer in your local area. And you can help me stay that way by reviewing me on Yelp, yes? Oh, actually, I book up fast in case you have any upcoming events. You were incredible. You would be perfect for my kids' next birthday. <sighs> I swear, I can barely get my kids to listen for 10 minutes. Very impressive. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say, but it's it's all the kids. You know, I just, I build off their energy. I, I guess I don't know what else to say, except they love me. <laughs> Who's that? Oh my gosh, it's Princess Wanda in Eugene the Unicorn from TV! world is going on over there. Oh, I know that show. My kid watches that cartoon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Licensed character? That's lame. You know what I mean? Because I'm completely original. Who wants to do face painting? Me! 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 Oh, she does face painting. How fun. I wonder what else she has in that bag. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, I, I have other stuff in but I was gonna give you 10% off though. Whoa. Well? my face first. She's so magical. <laughs> okay. <gasps> okay. Wish me luck. You don't need luck. The kids and parents love you. You're gonna be amazing as always. Thanks. I guess I'm just a little insecure this week because I got my first four-star rating and I think I booked one last job because of it. Sweetheart, don't overthink it. Some weeks are going to be better than others. Yeah, but we have a kid now. And, and so many goals. I, I want to buy you a new house, a new car. Don't stress, okay? We have everything we need. And if things were to go bad, we can figure something out. No, things cannot get worse. Imagine going back to the way we used to live. With a kid. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Thank you for all your support. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's for you, little lady. <laughs> oh, Marvin. <laughs> You're always going to be a five-star for me, no matter what. Now go in there and go show those kids the best magic show they've ever seen. Okay. Marvin here to wonder and amaze. Oh, what was his name? Was it Alessandro, the birthday boy? Mr. Marvin, sir, what are you doing here? Did you not get my email? Email? What are you, what are you talking about? I thought we locked in 3 p.m. here. I sent it two days ago about having to cancel. We found somebody else. Oh, you, you found someone else? Uh, no, I, I, I must have missed that email. Wow, uh, <laughs> this is awkward, huh? Here I am, supposed to be a magician, but I definitely feel like a clown. <laughs> it's okay. I probably should have called as well. I'm really sorry about that. Um, out, of, out of curiosity, uh, who did you book instead of me? Well, I don't know the name. My wife booked him. Listen, I gotta go. I gotta get back to the party. Uh, I, I just, maybe like a thanks. Bye. <laughs>
Hey, Kels. Think you can pick me up? Yeah, I'll, I'll explain it a little bit. Thanks. Bye. Okay, baby. I'm going to work. I'll see you later. Wait. I thought you said you didn't have anything this weekend. I didn't. Um, it's actually one of my cancellations. Now it's a Princess Wanda party, so, you know, want to go check it out? <laughs> Marvin, you can't go to a birthday party uninvited. Don't be weird. <laughs> Why do you want to go anyways? I used to book four gigs a week. Now my next gig isn't until next month. I don't know, I just got to go see what makes this girl so special. You know, she's never gotten a bad review. I'm now number two on Yelp. What are you going to do? Go and sabotage Princess Wanda? <laughs> what? No. Marvin. No, okay, no. I just want to talk to her and make sure she stops stealing my clients. Honey, I think you're taking this a little too far. Okay, don't let your jealousy get the best of you. <laughs> jealousy? Did... Shh. Come on. Sorry, I, I'm not jealous, okay? I, I'm just looking out for my business and our family. Sweetheart, you have nothing to worry about. I promise. Just focus on what you can control. Like, what if you guys work together? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> No, well, what does a magician have to do with a princess and a unicorn who goes, hoi, hoi? That actually sounds like an amazing combination. I bet the kids would love that. And I've always believed teamwork makes the dream work. Magical Marvin is better than that. I'm sorry, I have to go. Please don't do anything dumb. I'm making you all my fairies so we can all fly to Happy Land together. Where's Eugene the Unicorn? Oh, um, unfortunately he's not feeling too well today, but he promises to fly by if he's feeling a little better. <sighs> Looks like Eugene the Unicorn was a no-show, huh? Bet that'll affect her review. I need a guarantee, though. Right, it's here. All right, Oliver, need any help bringing it inside? Ah, uh, no, I don't want to ruin the surprise. So we're just right here? Yep. All right. Thanks, bud. You're all set. Big box. <laughs> Ooh, heavy bike. Yeah. <sighs> it's one of the good ones. Hold up. Got it? Yeah. How's your back? <laughs> it's been better. Watch out for that step. I got it. Easy. There you go. Almost there. <sighs> you all right? Yeah. Need back? an adjustment. A little adjustment? Yeah. in a fight, but this is our job. Can we please talk about the breakup later? I just need you to get here and put your costume on. Hello? Why'd you hang up on me?
my crown? Well, I can't find it anywhere, so... beautiful butterflies. I'm back from my princess break. <laughs> Who's ready to do some face painting? Me, me, me. Let's start with the birthday girl first. Yay, I want to be a bunny. All right, but we can't forget about the <gasps> fairy dog. <coughs> 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 So good. I know you. You did the magic at my brother's birthday party. Mm-hmm. Well, that does sound about right. I am the magical Marvin, after all. Cool. Yeah, it is cool. Shh, I, I'm actually doing a magic trick right now, but I need you to keep it a secret for me, all right? Or ruin it, okay? All right, now run along now. Can you do a magic trick for me now? Please, I want to see a magic trick. Okay, yeah, um, oh. You see this pen? I will make it disappear. Ready? Three, two, what's over there? One. Ta-da, it's gone. That was lame. It's in your shirt. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, kid. Not every trick can be a winner, all right? Now, remember, don't say anything to anyone or it'll ruin everything, okay? <laughs> I swear, I don't know how these presents got in my car. It's a party with you, Jane the Unicorn. Cameron? Let's Congo! Oops. I'm so sorry. Okay, I don't know who you are, but you're definitely not Eugene the Unicorn. What is going on here? I have read amazing things in all of your reviews, and you are clearly not living up to that reputation. Mommy? <gasps> what? It... Is this glue? Uh, Ow! What kind of party performers are you? Uh, looks like that's time for me to go. Well, Whoa! <laughs> you? <laughs> Hello. Who are you? Magical Marvin? What are you doing? Oh. What are you doing here? Why would you do this to me? Is this the big trick? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, Ta-da! I have pulled off a fantastic trick. I have turned this Princess Wanda party, as you so call it, into a marvelous, magical Marvin Spectacular! <laughs> I have something for you, just right up my sleeve. Um, sorry, one sec. You ruined my birthday! Wait, no, this doesn't yeah. normally... Oh. What is going on? Okay, I have had enough, and it is time for you two to leave. This isn't my fault. I'm not with Magical Marvin. Yeah, I'm married. None of this was supposed to happen. Look, I get it, but look, the show's over. We just want you to leave just for the sake of the kids. And I will be writing about our experience in our Yelp review. Hey, just want to say sorry and... Make it up to you guys with maybe a couple tricks, huh? Look at that. There, huh? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Get out. Okay. Seriously?
Well, it looks like neither one of us is ever getting hired again. But they didn't even hire you in the first place. But looks like you got what you wanted. My reputation's gonna be ruined now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be kinda nice seeing you get your first bad review. Wow. You stole the gifts? Come here. Let's go. No. You are ridiculous human beings, okay? Yeah. Please get off of my property before I call the cops. Okay, maybe I took it a little too far. Yeah, <laughs> a little? What do you want me to say? Okay, you were threatening my livelihood, and plus... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little intimidated by you. You? Intimidated by me? But you're magical Marvin. You're like the best performer in town. I'll never forget how you performed at my little sister's birthday party. You blew everyone away. You saw me perform? Yeah. Who do you think inspired me to get into party entertainment? I was actually hoping that we could work together, but I wanted to gain a little bit more experience before asking you. Wow. I feel awful. Here you are aspiring to be like me, to work with me, and here I am just thinking that you're competition. Yeah, well, I never knew you saw me as a threat. I just wanted to do what you do. Man, I, I really messed things up for you today, didn't I? I let jealousy get the best of me. Nah, I low-key messed things up before you even got here. I actually got into a big fight with Eugene the Unicorn. Let's just say I'm never dating a co-star ever again. Ever. Yeah, I can see how that could get messy. Well, I guess the good news is that after today, we'll both get bad reviews and you'll still be number one, so... The rest of the jobs are yours. Yeah, well, I still have to hire someone else to play Eugene the Unicorn. Oh my gosh, I have it. Mm. No. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. No. After what you did in there, you owe me. No, I'm begging you. No, please do not uh -huh. make me do that. I'm not going to do that. Really? The bikes? Sorry. You were saying? Okay, what if he does like one magic trick? No. Like just one trick? No. One bunny thing? No. Just like, uh, uh, like, like a hand thing? Mm -hmm. um, what if he like ties ropes? What, what if he does? Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Have a magical day. <laughs> oh, they all looked so happy. Another amazing performance, I'm sure. Is the coast clear? Yep, all the kids are gone. Oh, good, because the kids kind of freak out when they realize there's a person inside the unicorn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe it's been our 20th show already and it's only been a month. I know, well, I feel like I'm dressed more as a unicorn than I am in my street clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Marvin, I really have to thank you. With all your help, the business has really taken off. Oh, and... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your cut. You know, honestly, I should be thanking you. Oh, thank you. Of course. Honestly, I'm making way more now than I ever did by myself. We were even able to hire a nanny. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's great. And actually, I have really good news for you, too. You don't have to play Eugene anymore because I hired someone else to be in costume. Oh. That's, that's great. Uh, that's, that's awesome, honestly. Uh, it, it was really fun while it lasted. I just want to say thank you for the opportunity. But wait, you haven't heard the good news yet. I was hoping we could still work together, but you play a different character from the cartoon? What character do you have in mind? Merlin, the wizard. And he does magic tricks on the show too. Wait, really? Yeah, it's gonna be perfect, a princess, a unicorn and a wizard. The kids are gonna love it and business will be booming. Yes. What do you say? Well, as they say, teamwork makes the dream work, so let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are gonna have a house and a car in no time, baby. <laughs> I've always believed in you. Um, but there is one last thing I forgot to tell you about. We did have a last minute booking. It's just at the arcade down the street. So I was wondering if you don't mind playing Eugene one last time. Of course, princess. <laughs> hey, my daughter just wanted to say she was really- <laughs> You're not a real unicorn. <laughs>
Oh. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy <Yay>. birthday. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Of course. Wait, is this strawberry? Yeah, why? Is something wrong? I told you I wanted red velvet. <sighs> I'm so sorry, honey. I tried, but the bakery didn't have any left. So I got you your second favorite instead. Why would I want to eat my second favorite today of all days? <sighs> Forget it. I guess I just won't be eating any cake on my birthday. <sighs> Gosh, now I feel terrible. Excuse me. Hi, how can I help you? Uh, by chance, do you guys happen to have any, uh... I said uh, forget it, Dad. I don't want cake anymore. Okay, um... Never mind. Thank you. Sure. Well, I know what'll make you feel better. Here you go! <laughs> A gift? Now this is more like it. And don't worry, it's just one of them. I didn't forget about what you really wanted. This better be good. iPhone 12? I know you wanted the new one, so... Wait, what color is this? You got me the black one. I told you I wanted the white one. I, I know, honey, but they were all sold out. And uh, besides, when you, when you put a case on it, you won't even be able to... And it's this. only 128 gigs? My 11 is 256. How am I supposed to move all my photos? D d don't worry. I, the, the guy at the store said you could store them in the cloud. <sighs> you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. This is supposed to be my sweet 16, and you're totally ruining it, Dad. I don't want this. I'll get it. Just leave it on the ground. My dad got me the wrong phone on my birthday. Can you believe it? Well, there's a lot of people that don't get anything for their birthday. So you should be grateful for what you have. Whatever. No one cares about your opinion. I'll take that. Thank you very much. You know, honey, she does have a point. A lot of kids would be very thankful to have this. Yeah, right. Any kid who got that would be mad too. So seriously, where's my real present? I was hoping to give that to you a little later. Why? Don't tell me you messed that up too. No, no, I, I got you what you wanted. Um, I guess you can have it now. Come on, let's go. Can you watch this for me? Make sure no one takes it. Yeah, sure. Happy birthday. Thanks. It's my daughter's birthday too. Well, hopefully your birthday's going better than mine. Uh, I I'm sorry about that, and happy birthday. Well, where is it? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I've been so excited to give this to you. Is that a... Yep. A brand new 2021 Porsche Cayenne SUV. I know how badly you've been wanting a new car. Listen, it's got 543 horsepower, leather seats, and it's... Black! I can't believe you got me a black car! I, I don't understand. I, I thought you really wanted a Porsche. Yeah, a red Porsche, not a black one. I, I'm sorry, honey. I, they didn't have a red one. I, but it's still a brand new car. I mean, shouldn't you be grateful for that? I would have been grateful if you got me the color I wanted. Not this one. Oh. Hey, you know what? I have a guy that can wrap it and make it red. I'll give him a call. At most, it'll take about a week, okay? You just don't get it. Why do you think I wore a red dress today? I had a whole rouge-themed photo shoot planned for my Insta to match my car, and now I won't even get to post a pic on my birthday. I, I didn't know that. Well, maybe we could get you a black dress. No. First you get me the wrong cake, then you get me the wrong phone, and now you get me the wrong car? Seriously, you're like the worst dad in the world. Honey, come on, don't be like that. Just leave me alone. I'll call an Uber home. I 
can't believe him. There you go. Happy birthday. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday again, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so delicious. I'm sorry I couldn't buy you an entire birthday cake. And, and I'm sorry they only had chocolate here, right? I know strawberry's your favorite. Dad, stop. I'm grateful to have any cake at all. Thank you so much. Hmm. It's so good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Here, <laughs> try a piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> mm. And don't think I forgot to get you a gift. Dad, I told you I didn't want anything for my birthday. I know it's not much. I just. After I lost my job, um, I know things have been tough, but uh, I wanted to get you something. The food and cake are more than enough. And you should be saving your money. <laughs> just. Phone? I'm really sorry. It's just a prepaid phone. I, I couldn't get you an iPhone. Are you kidding? I'm so lucky to have this phone. Seriously, this is too much. You should take it back. No, no, no. I want you to have it. Okay, so please, just take it. I'm just sorry that it, that I couldn't get you something better. I just feel like a terrible father. Dead. There's so many people that don't get anything for their birthday. I'm so grateful for what I have. And for the record, you're the best dad in the world. I love you so much, honey. I love you too. Here, have another piece. Okay. <laughs> Hey, hi, honey, I, I I spoke to my guy, and he said he's gonna try really hard to have it wrapped red by- It's okay, my... Dad. You don't need to wrap it. I don't? But I feel terrible. I, I, I never realized how important having it red was to you. I, I'm really sorry. No. You don't need to say sorry. I'm the one that should be apologizing. I don't understand. Where's all this coming from? I just realized something. A lot of people don't get anything on their birthday. I should have been a lot more grateful for everything that you got me. I'm really sorry. Can you please forgive me? Of course, honey. I'm so proud of you. Are you sure you don't want me to change the color? No, you got me a Porsche. Like, are you serious? <laughs> I'm so, so grateful. I love you so much, Dad. YouTube. Hey, um, what about this iPhone? Do you still want to keep it, or...? Actually, I have a better idea. Come on. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about the way I acted earlier, and for not wishing you a happy birthday. Oh, it's all right. Actually, I wanted to give you something. Oh. I saw the phone you got earlier and I wanted to give you this. What? Really? Yeah, I'm happy with my iPhone 11. Wow. Actually, I like the phone my dad got me. Think so. Are you sure? This is like a thousand dollar phone. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, well, I heard you like strawberry cake. Would you guys at least come and have some birthday cake with us? Yeah, sure, we'd love to. <gasps> Great. This is my dad, by the way. He's also the best dad in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. So glad that we brought lunch today. <laughs> Ew. Birthday! No! 
no, no. Uh, yeah, we got it. Go. Oh my gosh, that was a close one. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, I almost forgot. What? What's this for? Your birthday sleepover. I wanted to take you to the group at the observatory, but tickets are just so expensive. So instead, I'm putting stars all over my apartment and I'm buying a projector from school. We can bake cookies and watch movies. Stop it, Layla, that sounds like so much fun. You didn't have to do all that. Come on, it's my best friend's 13th birthday. You know I have to go all out. Do you have any questions? I don't think so. Okay, if you need anything, just ask one of your teachers. Uh, this is where your locker's gonna... What is... I'll be right back. Do you know how expensive this suit is? Come here! Michaela? Oh my gosh! Hazel! Oh my gosh! <laughs> gosh! I haven't seen you since like first grade. What are you doing here? I go here now. My dad's company moved back to California. No way! I knew the universe couldn't keep this apart. <laughs> oh my gosh, you still are the uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mila. He's his best friend. Oh, this is Michaela. We grew up together and we were joined at the hip till she moved to New York. Yep, we go way back. Like, back when we had diapers. <laughs> we were soulmates! <laughs> That's so funny. Me and Hazel can finish each other's sentences too. Oh, we can? Yeah, remember? Cause we're... Sisters! Sisters. Sorry I missed that one. Wait, was Principal Danvers giving you a tour of the school? He's so lame, I can do it instead. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Wait, I thought we were gonna have lunch. Oh, I'll be back in just a bit. Do you mind washing my stuff? Great, let's go, let's go. We're gonna call your parents and we're gonna tell them how much food you wasted. It's not our fault. Yeah, if the school lunch wasn't so disgusting, maybe we'd actually eat it. You're in big trouble! Hey guys. Oh, hey Layla. We were wondering where you were. Oh, I was waiting at the corner for like 15 minutes. It's Thursday. We always walk to school together on Thursdays. I called you a bunch. Shoot, I'm so sorry, I totally forgot. But Michaela picked me up this morning in her dad's shoe wagon. No, I'm sorry. I actually surprised her this morning and we went to go get Portos. I hope you're not mad. No, it's fine, no biggie. Gosh, I'm so happy that you're back. It's like you never left. I know. Hold up, you know what we haven't done yet? Taking a reunion photo. Oh my gosh, you're right. Come on, Layla, get in. Get in. Do you like it? Yeah, it's perfect. If you post it, then tag me in it. Uh, my eyes are closed. Oh, I really don't want to be late. Oh, no, no, let's go. I'll show you where our class is. Wait, you guys have English together? Yeah, uh, I had my dad call the school. He's a really big donor here, so he pulled a few strings and he got me into all of Hazel's classes. You're stuck with me every period now. I love it. <laughs> uh, wait, guys, a little hope here. Hazel, over here. Whoa, why is your shoe all wet? I had a bucket incident. It's all dry now. A little squishy though. Oh, I went to the library and got us this book for our birthday sleepover this weekend. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? It's your birthday this weekend. You should totally let me throw you a party. 
It would be so much fun. We could have a bunch of food and games and a huge cake. Actually, we were thinking to keep this. Oh, and we could totally have a bouncy house. Really? Yeah, of course. What are best friends for? Oh, this is gonna be so amazing. You're literally the best. Oh, but Layla planned this super sweet sleepover. She's got like a star projector and everything. Oh, um, well, why don't you just do both? You can have the sleepover at Layla's and then come to mine's for the party. Uh, yeah, sounds like a great idea. And honestly, Hazel, it's fine if you want to go with Michaela's idea. It sounds cooler anyway. Are you sure? Okay, well, maybe we could save the star projector for your birthday after Christmas. Oh, yay! I'm gonna text my dad right now so he can start booking everything. Oh, and since you love stars so much, I can ask to get tickets to Griffith Observatory. No way! I've always wanted to go there at night. And sent. This is gonna be so much fun. All we need to do now is get you a really nice dress. We should totally go to the computer lab and look up outfits there. Yeah. You wanna come, Leila? Uh, no. It's not like I can buy anything anyway. Okay, well, we'll see you later. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Text my dad so you can start booking everything. Whoa, what'd you do that for? Oh, I'm so sorry. It accidentally dropped. That didn't look like an accident to me. All right, what's really going on? I don't get why Michaela even had to transfer here. She's basically just taken Hazel away from me. And I can't even be mad at Hazel. Because Michaela's just cooler than me, dresses nicer, and has way more money. Hey, don't say that. Look, I'm sure Hazel's just excited to have Michaela around now. But that doesn't mean she cares for you any less. Yes, she does. She hardly even pays attention to me. She's attached to the hip with Michaela. You know, I remember when I was younger, one of my best friends moved out of state. And I was really sad at first. But my mom said something I'll never forget. She said, good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. Since you like astrology so much, I thought you'd appreciate that. <laughs> hey, you two knock it off. You're supposed to spray the walls, not each other. This one's for me. I try to stick with the whole star thing. Yeah, thank you. Oh, Layla, you made it. Hey. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I got you a little something. Oh, thank you. You, you can put that right over here. Help yourself to the punch. It's really good. And the pizza should be coming soon. Oh, right, hello. Oh, Layla, this is my dad. Nice to meet you, Layla. Nice to meet you, too. So, are you happy you're back in California? Oh, yeah, the weather here is so much better. But we kept our New York home so we can spend the holidays there. Oh, so does that mean you're gonna be gone for Christmas and New Year's? Yeah. But you could always come with us. Our house there is really nice. And it'll be snowing. Seriously? I'll ask my mom, but she should be cool with it. Always wanted to go to New York. Oh, um, would it be okay if Layla came too? Mm, I don't see why not. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I'd be able to. My birthday is December 26. Oh, yeah. Um, maybe we could celebrate it after New Year's so Michaela and I could be there? Yeah. This is so exciting. You know what? You should come inside so I can show you photos of our house there. Yeah, of course. Let's go. So, Layla, oh, 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 be Sorry. careful. You almost knocked the cake over. You wouldn't want to ruin the party now, would you? I'm so glad you're here, Layla. Have fun. Definitely wouldn't want anything in the party. Once the pizza getting here, I'm starving. Me too. This party's cool, but it'd be super lame if all they had was chips and punch. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Hey, can I help you? Yeah, I have a delivery for Mr. Parker. Uh, sorry, wrong house. Um, but this is 344 Theodore Drive, right? 
Yeah, but we didn't order that. See, there's this kid at school that keeps calling random pizza places and having them deliver here. Yeah, it's really weird, but my parents are getting really annoyed. Well, it sounds like you guys are having a party. Do you want to no, ask your parents? No, no party? party at all. Not if you don't mind. Oh. Go! Go! Hey, jeez. Go! try to figure out what happened and get the music back on, okay? There you are. I feel like I haven't seen you all party. Oh, yeah, sorry. When's the food getting here? Yeah, I thought you said pizza was gonna be here an hour ago. I'm starving. Yeah, uh, it should be here any minute now. How about instead of that, we can have some chips. Yeah, here you go. Oh, this is disgusting. Are you trying to poison me? What? Ah, oh, uh, that smells like, like cat food. Oh. Oh. This punch is nasty. Why does it taste like pickle juice? What? I swear it was fine earlier. Ugh. How about we have some cake? That'll clear the taste, right? I wonder what's happening. Everyone seems so annoyed. I have no idea. Go. Yeah. That works. So weird. Yeah. Oh! This is worse than the dip! Ugh. Who picked this flavor? I did. Well, it tastes like toothpaste. Here. Here, let me, let me try it. Oh, wow, that is bad. I don't understand. It, it was from a really good bakery. This party's turning out to be kind of whack. Let's go. Wait, 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 what if we, what if we open presents? Yeah, this is a great idea. Everyone knows that the host must give their gift first. Yeah. I will grab it. I'm, I'm really sorry, Hazel. I just, I wanted you to have the perfect birthday party. Don't worry about it, Al. This isn't your fault. Here you go. I hope you love it. Okay. Isn't it cute? Uh, is this what I think it is? Oh, oh my, my god! god. I definitely didn't it's put so that in there. Wow. This party's great. just like her gift. It stinks. Oh, <laughs> I don't know where everything went wrong. I'm so sorry, Hazel. Michaela, wait, wait. This probably didn't go out as planned. But, you know, you can come to my house. Yeah. Maybe we should do that. Great. Uh, just give me a minute. I'll be right there. Bye, guys.
Michaela. You have a sec? I can't believe how much I ruined Hazel's party. I'm such a bad friend. I bet she hates me now. No, that's not true. I don't even know how any of this happened. I definitely didn't get her a bag of dog poop. Yeah, I know. Did you? How would you know? Because... I did it. What? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm really sorry. I just got a little jealous. Ever since you came here, I've been worried I was going to lose my best friend. So I thought maybe if I ruined the party, she'd stop being your friend. Wait, so, so you're saying that? Yeah. I put pickle juice in the punch, and I put cat food in the dip, and toothpaste on your cake. I sent the pizza guy away, and I also ruined the bouncy house and unplugged the music. Oh, and I put dog poop in your gift. And I feel really bad about it. I was just a little jealous. You were jealous of me? I was the one that was jealous of you. What? Why were you jealous of me? All Hazel does is talk about you. Layla is the sweetest. Layla is so adorable. She loves being your best friend. And I guess I felt bad because I felt like you had taken my only friend here. But I, I talked with Principal Danvers and he said that good friends are like stars. You can't always see them, but you know they're always there. And he said the same thing. I should have listened to him. And I saw you got me tickets to the Griffith Observatory. Thanks. I'm sure you don't want to go with me now. Of course I do. I mean, I'm not happy about what you did, but I understand how you felt. I just feel bad about Hazel. No, she doesn't have a birthday party. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> Hey, guys, I'm really sorry about everything again. It's all right, Layla. And actually, you want to tell her? Go ahead. Okay, so I had my mom call your mom, and she said it'd be cool if you came to New York with us. We're going to celebrate your birthday in New York. Yeah. Wait, really? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'll, I'll get it. Hi. Hi. I got a delivery? I didn't order any pizza. Did you guys order a pizza? Uh, sorry, we didn't order a pizza. <laughs> I'm kidding! I wanted to see your reaction. I ordered it. <laughs> Thank you. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Kelsey! Do you know him? Why does he walk so weird? I heard he just transferred here. Ugh, he's walking towards us. Hey, is it okay if I sit with you? Actually, we were just leaving. Let's go, girls. I, uh, hold on. Where are you going? Can I come too? No. Just stay away from me, all right? You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. All right, let's pick teams. I'll be the first captain, and Kelsey, since you're the birthday girl, you can be the second captain. I'll start with Megan. Okay, I'll pick. Wait up, I wanna play too. Uh, Tanya? I'll take Cameron. Uh, Bryce? Eric? I'll pick... 
Stephanie. Yes. Sorry, loser. You didn't get picked. Now scram. Kelsey, please. I, I want to play too. You heard what she said. Get lost. So, we'll wear pink tomorrow? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Kelsey! Wait, why is your dad with the gimp? <laughs> I don't know. But I gotta go. I'll see you girls tomorrow. What are you doing? Wait inside the car. Oh, uh, look, we picked up your cake for your birthday. We even got it. Oh! oh. 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 My cake! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I just lost my balance. This is all your fault. If you didn't have that stupid lip, none of this would have happened. Hey, Kelsey, it's okay, all right? It was just an accident. He didn't mean- I don't care. Why did he have to transfer him to my school, huh? I don't want anyone to know he's my brother. It's embarrassing. I wish I had a normal sibling. Believe that you would say something like that to him. You need to apologize right now. Well, it's true. I mean, why does he have that weird limp anyway? Dad? What's wrong? Kelsey, <clears throat> your brother didn't want us to tell you this, but I think it's time you know the truth. You see, when the two of you were little, you'd play together outside all the time. Both of you were inseparable. And then one day, something happened that would change all of our lives forever. You ran out into the street and you didn't see a car that was coming. It almost hit you, but your brother saved you. He pushed you out of the way, getting hit by the car himself. Almost sacrificing his own life to try and save yours. When we got to the hospital, the doctor came in and told us the bad news that he would never be able to walk normally again for the rest of his life. And since that day, your brother has always walked with a limp, but he never let that stop him from loving you. So you see, your brother limps because he saved you. You were just too young to remember. I had no idea. He didn't want us to tell you because he thought it would make you feel bad. He loves you so much. Ugh, there's that weirdo again. I hope he doesn't come here again. Grant, over here! Why don't you sit with us? Kelsey, what are you doing? Why would you want the gimp to sit with us? Actually, he's my brother. The best brother in the world for that matter. And I'd really appreciate if you don't call him names. What? <laughs> you can't be serious. You want him to sit with us? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> We'll just find our own table. <sighs> Let me help you with that. Oh, thanks. Also, do you want to play dodgeball later? You can be on my team. <laughs> I love that. 